So about uh, 4.30 yesterday afternoon, uh, we were just wrapping up for the day, uh, planning on coming in back in today to do some more work and uh, started raining. Um, we had some severe weather moving through. Uh, as we were about to uh, head out, the power went out and then just big roar and uh, uh, stuff started falling down. And apparently a, a neighbor's roof from a few buildings south of us uh, got caught in straight line winds uh, and came over and, and hit the side of our building. From what we can tell right now, uh, there's no damage to the locomotive or any of our tools. Also, there were no injuries. Uh, we were very lucky that all of us were standing up towards the front of the shop in a safe place. It looks like we're, we're going to make a speedy recovery. So this right here is the rear tube sheet. The locomotive firebox uh, or boiler has two tube sheets, a front and a rear tube sheet. And uh, what all these tubes do is they allow a, uh, a gas flow from the fire up to the smokestack. As the hot exhaust gases are being pushed out of the front of the locomotive, the exhaust gases travel through all of these flues. Uh, you have tubes and flues that go into this sheet, um, and they're surrounded by water. So everything on the inside of this sheet right here is full of water, and it allows the energy transfer from the hot gases of the fire hot exhaust gases into the water, which causes the water to boil. Um, so ultimately, it's, it's like a big radiator in a way. So the hot gas passes through the tubes, um, then it passes over superheaters and goes up and out the stack. The tube sheet, when we flanged it out, of course, we had to bend all these radiuses, and then we uh, grind a bevel on the inside of it. You can still see a little piece of it here. And we fill this whole gap in with weld. We call that a full penetration weld. And what that does is it can actually get 100% efficiency out of the weld so that you wouldn't even know that there's a weld there. All the steel is completely one piece uh, and, and there's no chance of it, it breaking. So there will be fire grates all the way along the bottom of the firebox and that's where the fire burns. Now the fire bed will only be about that thick. Uh, and, and of course the stoker is gonna be constantly throwing coal into the firebox. Uh, if you get a nice even layer of coal, um, you can get a very uniform fire and then of course the smoke comes up. There will actually be a secondary combustion after the smoke comes into this area which is called the combustion chamber. Uh, and that allows this locomotive to more efficiently use its coal. So the coal burns, then the smoke comes up. The smoke, because it's very rich, burns again in this area right here and it passes through the tubes and flues. And in that time is when all the heat is transferred from the smoke and from the coal into the water. When the locomotive is working, all of the exhaust steam from the cylinders moving back and forth is blasted up through a nozzle called the blast stand, which is in the smoke box. And when you blast a high pressure gas up through a cone, it pulls a suction uh, or pulls a draft through the firebox, which does two things. A, it moves the gases through the tubes and flues, B, it stokes the fire and it makes the fire hotter because it's pulling more oxygen. So right now we're standing between the two main thermic siphons in the center of the firebox. This is the crown sheet. Uh, so this is the top inside sheet. All this is gonna be covered in water and these thermic siphons are gonna be full of water. And this, this is where that circulation action happens. So you'll notice that this bottom entry point is lower in the boiler. As that water heats up, it pushes it up that tube up the siphon and out over the top. And that's what really starts getting a circulation motion going. So there's not a cold spot in the front and a warm spot in the back. It's all uniformly heating the water. Uh, and that allows for much more efficient energy transfer from the coal into the water. So the smoke is actually mixed with new oxygen from the overfire jets uh, that is added above the fire. It comes up over the bricks and then this area right here allows that smoke to recombust and that allows us to get a whole lot more energy out of our coal. Uh, so we're using less coal and we're heating more water with that less coal and that makes this locomotive a whole lot more efficient than some early steam locomotives.